I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 21st of June, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today, finally getting back out and heading for a walk, showing you another barrio. We're heading to the barrio of Fundesi, which I've been hinting a little bit on the shorts. I love Fundesi. It's really interesting and quite different. And we're going to do this over a period of days because there's actually so much to show in different areas. And I mean, that's how it works. Barrios are pretty big, right? So we're going to start at the park today in Fundesi and show kind of the entrance point that everyone is familiar with and give you a feel for it. We've already filmed a couple days down there. We're going to do a few days more. So this is our first of a number of looks at the Barrio of Fundesi. All right, we are out walking in Fundesi. Now I would say the Barrio Fundesi or the Reparto Fundesi as the case may be, but the reality is I don't know what it qualifies as. So I'm just gonna say Fundesi and do my best to figure it out in the future and let you know, and I'll put it in the show notes. I always say that, I don't know if I very often do. You can tell from the golden lion behind me that I'm in the Parque Ruben Dario. We've done some episodes in the Parque Ruben Dario previously. However, those episodes were on the, uh, the, let's see if I can get this right, on the south side of the highway, this highway, uh, as you go out of town and are in Colonia Universidad. This is the portion, this is how big the park is. This is the portion that's in on the north side of the highway on the west side of the bypass as it turns instead of the east side. So they're diagonal from each other, it's the same park. Uh, but this one's actually in Fundesi, uh, in the city rather than in one of the colonias. Colonia means it is uh, semi-incorporated, it isn't so official. These beautiful little parks. This is a beautiful area of Fundesi, I like it a lot. It is loud because of the highway, uh, but I wanna show a little bit of this. Now this is funny, this little walk around doesn't go anywhere, right, this little park. So there's a spot with sidewalk to walk around, but where does it go? Nowhere. I'm not sure why they did that, but I wanna show what Fundesi looks like. So this is the part that everyone knows. It's like a parkway against Ruben Dario, and it's not an expensive area at all, but it's so pretty and it's not quiet, right? Cause there is a highway and there can be events. And so it gets, it can get pretty packed. Where Fundesi uh, is the area where Fundesi and uh, Guadalupe come together is where all the big universities are. Not all the universities, but the big ones. Um, now I'm gonna show you, this is the ballpark in Fundesi. This is part of the university complex, but this is a pretty popular ballpark. So you'll see a lot of games are played here, not the official uh, Lions of Leon games, but a lot of university games. And those are dormitories for the university right back there. Uh, there's some university stuff going on over here. Uh, we've seen some big events like concerts and things will be held out here. Uh, and it's just, it's just a, a popular place for holding things. And obviously baseball being the sport of Nicaragua. Uh, there's a lot of teams in our second biggest city, uh, so a lot of them play here. This is a spot with a lot of buses, uh, both in the city and coming in from Managua, come through this area in Fundesi. But I want to show this portion of the park because we never really get to see this. This is so beautiful here. This is the Ruben Dario statue. Right as you come into the city, it is gorgeous. It's a great park and very different than the rest of Ruben Dario Park. Like the, the way that they lay out the parks and stuff, very, very different. Uh, and uh, it's just, it's a great place to go walking. A lot of people use this as a pass through in the city. Uh, and it's just, it's just really nice. Uh, now I'm gonna show across the street. This is an area I don't know very well. So it's one of the reasons why I want to do some exploring of Fundesi, because it's right in the middle of things you do all the time. If you live in Leon, you are going to be coming through Fundesi on a regular basis. You will drive through, there's, there's no way to get to and from Managua without coming through it. The highway goes through it, the main road into the town. A whole bunch of things in town are in it. And yet most people don't know its name. They don't realize that the park is a part of it. What a beautiful spot. Like, I hope you guys are appreciating just how gorgeous this is. I'm doing this walk in the afternoon. We got a little bit of clouds. It's a great day and it's not too warm. I'm really enjoying this walk. So I, I, I'm gonna have to come out and do multiple days 
in Fundesi because it's a, it's a good, I mean, it's a full reparto. I think it's a reparto. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of stuff here and a lot to see. And there's interesting areas. If we were to drive in, one of the things that makes it unique is when you come off the highway, I'm going to, I'm going to swing the camera quite a lot in this video. So sorry. This is, this is not the highway highway, but this is attached to the highway off to the left. If you were to come in from Managua and not take the bypass, this is the big road going into the city. This is how you would actually get to the Basilica is you would head down the way I just walked from. So because of that, there's a lot of traffic and any of the roads that turn off of that have these big, broad walkways that you see here. And then they go into these parkways. And so no road goes directly through Fundesi. So my plan is to do a couple of different videos so we can really show it off to you guys. One of the things about Fundesi is as far as I know, and of course I'm guarantee I'm, I'm wrong, but I'm going to over exaggerate and say there is absolutely no extra and heroes living in Fundesi. It is a completely Nicaraguan zone. Obviously someone must, but the number is extremely low. I've never heard of anyone who lives in it and very few even know how to identify it. So that makes it really interesting, but it's a nice area. It has some of the very low cost housing of the city uh, and it has areas that have essentially no uh, roads. There's actually areas of Fundesi that are uh, serviced by walking paths and not roads. I'm not exactly sure how they work. I'm, I'm certain the city bus must go in there, but that's how they work. That's, that's how they function. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys, looking at me is only so interesting. This is such a beautiful park. I love these long, if you need to get around the city, it's just such a great spot to walk in. I love being able to come out here and walk. And I don't think you can hear it, but there's sprinklers going on like right now. You can see a little bit of water right there. There's actually live sprinklers in here. I don't know why they need to sprinkle at this time of year because we get a lot of rain, but, but there we are. That, uh, that big crane you see over there, that is the new stadium going in at Colonia Universidad. So that is the first building, I think, that qualifies as the Colonia, or maybe the one in front of it. But it gives you an idea of, of how close we are. So we really do butt directly up against the Colonia that we did a bunch of uh, walking in previously. And I'm gonna go all the way to the corner so you can see kind of where this portion of the park begins and, and put it in perspective and show a little piece of the city that I don't normally show. And it's one of those pieces that those of us who live here, like or we see it almost every day and on shows like, like my vlog here, uh, no one ever shows it because it's not interesting at all. I'm gonna pop just real quickly so you can see what the park looks like from behind. This is the main corner of the park. And it's, it's a weird, weird area. So these are strange. Like these houses are clearly like pretty run down and very, very basic, yet they're in an amazing location if someone was to buy those and turn them into something, they would be a great place to live. This park is generally quiet. It's uh, other than the traffic noise, but meaning like there's not a lot going on. It's a very tranquil area. It's really nice. I would love to live down here. Like it's fantastic. And it's really logistically great in the middle of things across the road from the, the baseball stadium. This big building over here is pretty new. Like, I mean, pretty new. And that is a new building of the campus for Unan, uh, the giant university here. That is the main, it's not the main campus, uh, but it is the main university here of Leon. It's the one that we're most known for. There's a handful that we're known for, but all right, we've reached the front of the park. And I'm gonna come around. So the park is known for this statue. I'm gonna show this here. And sometimes they have a banner out on it and sometimes they don't and they have these beautiful tall, I guess they're trees, or they, to me they seem like bushes that are just really, really tall. Uh, and so this corner that we saw from the inside is kind of the start of the park. And it mostly goes along the road we just walked, but it does go a little ways this way, but I mean, you can kind of see, it just turns into restaurants right there. And this is sort of the, the starting hub. And then it goes quite a ways uh, that we just walked. And then it's also on the other side of the road. And we're gonna work our way over there because I've never been over there, as ridiculous as that is. But there's no crossing point because this is a main intersection. So I'm gonna go just a little bit so I can show this entire intersection. 
And to be able to show this, we are gonna flip the camera over to wide. So brace yourselves as we make a camera change. I've never done a GoPro uh, lens change in the middle of a vlog before. How did that work? Is that cool? Let me know. Get it in the comments. I wanna know if that was like, oh neat, he just got more perspective. Uh, so uh, to give you a, an idea. So the road right over there that we're seeing kind of go off into the distance and come towards us here. That is uh, Nicaragua 3. That is the, the secondary Pan American Highway as it heads to Managua. So those cars heading that way that you see right now, they're on their way to Managua. Basically, nothing but Managua lies in that direction. Technically, you can take the bypass and end up in like Didi Ambra, but, but basically that's the Managua road. And both the new and old ways of Managua are that way. That is the one south and east highway coming out of Leon. Like for real, that is it. All the traffic is going that way, or they turn 90 degrees on this corner, and this way will take you around the east side of the city and head you towards Chinandega and the north, including the Honduran border. So that is the big turn as the highway comes through. Off to the right here, if we were to go this way, this is where it's no longer the highway, but it is the main road going into the heart of the city. And so it runs along Fundesi. It goes to the south side. I'm trying to do this map in my head with it all turned around. It's heading west into the south side of Guadalupe. Typically, you go past the universities, turn in Guadalupe, and go through the center of the city. The main road in Guadalupe turns into uh, the downtown um, uh, Central Ave, uh, that takes you right to the Basilica in downtown Leon proper. Uh, so Fundesi and Guadalupe function as the main road connectors to the, the majority of the country into Leon proper. This is the Southeastern Uno station. You can see the sign there. Uh, and we talk about this on the show a bit because there aren't that many gas stations in Nicaragua. There aren't that many cars. I know it looks like it here because we're on this intersection, but in most of Nicaragua, there is not this huge abundance of cars and we don't need that many gas stations. You can see at the moment, it's especially not that busy, right? There's a number of people parked there. A lot of people go there to eat. It actually has okay food. Um, they're known for like their hot dogs and their coffee. Like it's, it's decent. Um, but uh, this is also the southeastern bus station for the city. So if you're taking the Uka bus, the one that I talk about all the time, when you're leaving the city, you can't come here. You have to go to the main bus terminal and go to the point of origination and leave to go on the bus. But if you're coming into, Le if you're coming into Leon from Managua, your bus is gonna come around this corner because like I said, that is the one road coming in from Managua. That is the Uka bus right there. We're actually gonna see this. That is perfect, perfect timing. It does not get better. That is the Uka bus and they are pulling into the gas station as they do every time because this is the Southern bus station. Those are all taxis waiting for the Uka bus. You can see a red one, two white ones and a blue one minimum. And I think there's another one or two on the other side of the parking spot. That is the Uka bus dropping people off and then about a third of their passengers will typically get off here. That is one of the city buses coming through and they will unload grab taxis here or walk as I often do uh, and, and go into the city. And then the rest of the people will head onto the regular bus terminal, but the, the bus always stops here. And if you're going into Leon proper, if you're going into almost any tourist zone or if you're heading to the beach, you want to get off here. You're gonna find taxis more easily here. You're gonna have access to a gas station, bathrooms. You can buy uh, more normal snacks. If you, you know, obviously I highly recommend, you can see all the taxis pulling in. Um, I highly recommend uh, snacks from the, the the people selling in the bus station or along the road as you go. But if you if you need to get something that they don't have, or you just want the comfort of the Pronto, which is the, the the Quickie Mart inside the Uno, then you can go into the gas station there. It's a great meeting point. You can tell people I'm at the Uno. Come get me, uh, whatever. This is the real. You can see. I mean, it's just a gas station, right? It would remind you of a North American gas station. It's it's very casual to use. You can go in. There's tables in the gas station, and you can get snacks and eat. If you eat meat, there's hot dogs and nachos and different things. None of it's fantastic, but it's okay. And uh, but definitely you can get coffee and sodas and stuff and hang out and wait for people to come pick you up or whatever. It's It really is an easy, easy place for any coordination you might need to do as someone coming in on the Uka bus from Managua. So that was perfect timing, perfect location. I'm glad we were able to show that on this particular episode because that's super useful knowledge. A lot of people um, ask me and a lot of people are worried about taking the buses. Not because they're worried, worried, right? It's just, you know how it is. I was the same first time, right? I don't know where the bus is gonna go. I don't know what to tell them. I don't know where to get off. I don't know what to look for. All those things are easy once you've seen it, but until you've seen it, it's not easy, right? Or at least it's, it seems scary. 
So knowing that this is the Uno, it's the only one they'll stop at, it is this location in town, I will throw up a map right now for you to look at and you can see how the highway comes in. It's very handy that I can make these notes to myself and, and put these in. And you will know this is the, the station to get off at. Don't go on to the terminal, you can, but this is better for 99, and I mean it, 99% of you, if you're bringing the Uka bus from Managua, this is where you want to get off. It is very rare that you want to go on to the terminal as a foreigner. Even as a Nicaraguan, it is unlikely you'll want to go to the terminal. Most of the people going there uh, either work there um, or just went there because they didn't know about this. A lot of people coming into town aren't aware of this. Only the regulars know this. So I always get off here. But when I tell people, they're always like, I just go onto the terminal because I'm afraid to get off too early. No, this gas station, if you see a gas station, get off. If you get off there and you have to wait for any amount of time, there is a restaurant row here, which I'm also gonna show. There's always a dog sleeping, uh, but there's a number, mostly Asado's places, uh, but you can come over here. Um, if, you, if you're a vegetarian like me, this may be a little bit of a struggle. These places are, sorry about the bump, uh, very, very uh, meat heavy. I'm gonna kind of walk out onto the highway to get a better view. But you can see there's probably like at least six restaurants that are lined up here. They're always manned. Um, there's, there's a couple more businesses down there. There's not a ton real close, but there is a bit and you can easily stop here, get yourself dinner, get yourself a snack, get yourself whatever uh, while you're waiting or you can do that and then walk somewhere. You can, for me, it's really easy to walk to places like El Centro, uh, anywhere in Fudesi, anywhere in Guadalupe, Labo Rio. Um, those areas are relatively walkable from here, meaning under 45 minutes. It is a hot country, it's not hot today, but it is a hot country and you may not want to walk super far for all those things, but you could. And so if you get dropped off here, you've got the Pronto over there, you got all these restaurants over here and all you have to do to head into the city is come to this park, go to that corner that I showed you and take that long walk that we started on and that's gonna be moving you right into the city and you'll just keep on going on past the universities, past the University of Managua Leon, take a right, and you are heading on the main Central Ave right to the Basilica, very hard to get lost. That map, check it on a map, you're gonna be like, oh, that, that is easy, I get it. Even walking, that's not bad at all. You don't wanna be out here on this road because the bypass has a lot of these semis that all the tractor trailers coming from Honduras, which means El Salvador and, and Guatemala as well are coming on this road. And it's also all the traffic from Chinandega, which is the logistical hub of Western Nicaragua and Northern Nicaragua, uh, for the most, well, Esteli for the other part of the North. Uh, so you don't wanna be out walking on this too much, but it's a great place uh, uh, to, to get into this park. That's what this park is for, to funnel people down a beautiful sidewalk, have that hedgerow so you're not tempted to go into the wrong place. It's loud. <laughs> We got a thumbs up and uh, and that'll get you into the city. So I'm gonna step away, it's just a little bit loud. So this was, I'm, I'm actually gonna cut the video there. This is a perfect amount of showing you this part of the park and this little introduction to Fundesi. I'm gonna do a number of more videos, both today and uh, recording today and recording in the future. I really wanna cover Fundesi well uh, so that you guys see it from a how to use it perspective because it's got like these baseball things and it's got the, the, the gas station. Um, I also wanna go up this way. We're gonna go, not today, we're gonna go look at um, the city library and the federal bank. They're all up there. Uh, and, and just some beautiful stuff and restaurants and things. So I wanna show a little bit of that. Uh, and I wanna show like housing in Fundesi so you know what those options could look like for you, uh, what it could look like for someone else, just give you an idea of the city if nothing else. And I wanna walk some more of the city and more of the, the, this Rapardo uh, and see what it's like. So thanks for joining me. I've, a lot of people have been pushing me to do more walks. Recently, I've let my foot wait a long time, as Javier will point out, I have let it rest. Now it's time to walk, Scott, get on it. Um, there's a lot of the city and the rest of Nicaragua to show off. So I am heading out to get more exercise, to show you more of the city, give you more of just exploring Nicaragua with me. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to help support the channel, I would really appreciate it. Just look at the link up here. It's buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That is really easy to use and you can send me a coffee and that helps make this possible. And as always, share with your friends, all, post on social media. That's one of the, the biggest, right? Letting people know about the show, giving those links out there, letting new people discover us, that's 
huge. We're getting new audience. We are growing, growing, growing. The show is doing great. Thank you so much to my loyal audience who've made this possible. We have, I have to mention real quickly, we have jumped from continuously competing in the top couple shows in English in the country to now solidly competing in the top few Spanish language shows in the country and absolutely crushing it on the English language front. We are as much as double the next biggest channel uh, in a lot of metrics, like views and hours watched and like, you guys are here to make this happen. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. And I will see all of you from beautiful Leo, Nicaragua tomorrow.